for your Tuesday. Tuesday looks to be about the heaviest threat of these rain showers, uh, but temperatures pretty much staying steady anywhere from the middle to lower 50s. Nighttime lows pretty decent as well as we're reaching into the lower 30s t tomorrow night where we could see some area fogs into your Monday, but we're also looking pretty decently over the week. Um, then we're reaching into the lower 40s there on Friday. But real quick, I just want to stop the newscast. Uh, I have a question I need to ask you, Alexis. Um, <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> well, uh, this may be your last weekend, oh um, but I want this to be the start of the rest of our lives together. And Alexis, will you marry me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, that caught me off guard. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank <laughs> well, because like, I don't want to be too appropriate on camera, but <laughs> wow. There. <laughs> Look at that, everybody. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I okay, so I can't cry on TV. <laughs> Save it for the end. But I just wanted you all to be a part of that because we'll be leaving here soon and yeah. we'll be leaving for better places and greener pastures. And you guys have been wonderful to us and we're going to miss you guys. And Yes, um, exactly. well said. So. Thank you for letting us come in your homes um, each and every uh, weekend here. So it's, it's been a pleasure. So I'm really excited about the temperatures as well, <laughs> too, because it's getting warmer. So. It definitely is getting hot in here, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> You're <Justin>. welcome. <laughs> Green thumbs got a helping hand as they started thinking about the spring and summer planting seasons. It was the 15th annual Gardener's Palette at John Wood Community College. The U of I Extension sponsored the event is held on the first Saturday every March. This year's theme is successful secrets revealed. People heard trials, errors, and successes from master gardeners. There were also oh, I can't <laughs> finish reading. There were also local vendors selling handmade soups or soaps, I can't read either. Tea, honey, and organic products. In honor of the 15th year, there were 15 topics discussed. Topics included looking at bees' amazing rule, role in gardens and organic garden tips to create attractive gardens as well as decorative uses for herbs. Well, dozens of people from all over gathered in Quincy today to scrapbook and support a good cause. It was the seventh annual Crop for a Cure. People used their creative talent, photos, and donated supplies to create memories to last a lifetime. The cost was $30, with all proceeds going to the Vasculitis Foundation, which funds research to find an improved treatment and hopefully a cure for Wagner's granulomatosis disease. America Keys was diagnosed with Wagner seven years ago. Wagner's is a rare form of vasculitis or inflammation of the blood vessels. It's also an autoimmune disease. That means the body's immune system attacks its own body tissue. America's mother, Jenny Smith, started the event in order to bring community awareness to this rare disease. So what does it mean to have all this support here? It's an awesome feeling because the first, I mean, I do this because my daughter having the disease, and this is my way of fighting it. I have a hard time talking about it. And um, after seven years, every year it's grown. Just to get the awareness out so everybody knows what's going on with the disease, because um, it's not well known. And I think it's awesome that I have people here from Burlington that came down for us, and just all the people that have supported us throughout the years. The disease affects both men and women and people of all ages. You can learn more about the disease on our website, connecttristates.com. We'll be back uh, after this break. Well, loving couples enjoyed a night on the town Saturday night. <laughs> but these couples were <laughs> mothers with their sons between the ages of 4 and 12. Tony's Chew is host to the annual Quincy Park District event. Mothers received corsages at the door, and every guest was treated to a buffet dinner and dessert bar, a couple's photo, all night dancing, and several prizes. And as you can tell, <laughs> <laughs> Look at him break dance. <laughs> the dancing got a little crazy. Everyone could agree this was more than just a good time. It was a chance to spend more, some quality moments with their child before they grow. The daddy daughter dance is tomorrow night. And, uh, you'll be doing that soon. Yeah, well, <laughs> I will be doing that soon here in a couple of years, probably. I'm, I don't know if I'll come back to the tri states, but we'll see how that works out. <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> wow. Hey, everybody.
everybody unengaged. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed the show, I guess you could say. Yeah, so um, it's getting hot in here in the studio, but it, it's yeah, tomorrow, up yeah, as well. Tomorrow is Alexis's last show. I still have another weekend on with you glorious folks. And it looks like the weather will be uh, at least pleasant, so hopefully next week it will bring some nice... Uh, moving, moving weather, at least the temperatures are going to be decent. Because these rain showers don't expect to be constantly raining. It's going to be scattered, isolated. Some parts of the Tri-States probably won't even pick on it on some days. But Tuesday looks to be the big day of when these rain showers are going to hit most of us. And then they look to taper off in the latter part of the week. And then 50 there by Saturday, mostly sunny skies. So it looks to be another great weekend on tap. If you get out and enjoy it, obviously, there's a lot of people out yeah. today washing their car, doing everything. And yeah. I can't wait to see all this snow just go away. Yeah, have the sunroof open and definitely mm. turn down the heat. Mm. And maybe turn it off. So. some rain. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Justin, um, for the forecast and other things. <laughs> and thank you for tuning in. Here's Chris Jewett with Overtime. Good night. <laughs> Overtime is brought to you by your local Papa John's in Quincy, Hannibal, and Kirksville. Precious and few are the moments we two can share. Wow, I've seen a lot on television, not much like that before. How much fun are we having tonight? I have long told you people that KHQA is the station that loves you, and apparently we are now also the station that loves each other. But, you know, while I stand steadfastly, I am firmly against office romances. Won't have it, won't tolerate it. That's me, I'm telling you this. Stonehearted, won't do it. Congratulations to Justin. What are you people laughing at? Justin and Alexis on their engagement. In keeping with the marital theme tonight, you lucky bachelorettes out there, I'm going to raffle out Joe Morano to the highest bidder tonight. He will be your husband or take part in animal husbandry, whatever you need him for. He will do it. But I want a dowry out of this. Like, I'm, oxen? Will I get oxen or something? I want something I can yoke. Wow, what a night. By the way, I digress. This is Saturday, March the 6th, and you have entered overtime.